Well, welcome to Photoelectric Elevators, and what I'll be showing you today is my smoke detector collection as of January 2020, the new decade, and I all wish you a happy new decade. Hope you had an awesome Christmas, too, and if you did not celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a happy holidays, but I'm just mentioning this now. So, yeah, basically, this is my smoke alarm collection. I got the photoelectrics on this side. And I got all the ionizations on this side. So we'll start with the ionizations. Actually, I should start with photoelectric. Because it's photoelectric elevators. So we'll start off with this one. It's a kitty. Worry free. P3010L. P3010L. Photoelectric. Smoke alarm. So it has a 10 year sealed lithium battery in it. Always on. You see this one's one of those. I put tape over it so it won't be too loud. And it's finished its test. You can see the little red LED is flashing. It flashes every 10 minutes when it's not like, and it's like done with testing mode or sensitivity. Right here, it's on its mounting bracket, this is on the wall. Right here is a, uh, not kitty. Or a kid, uh, well, this is a first alert P1010 or P1000. I like calling it P1000, but it's really a P1010 because it's battery sealed, has a sealed lithium battery in it. And we'll go ahead and test it. And I don't want to go too loud on that. But here is a, um, a kitty Nighthawk KN KN COSM B smoke alarm and this one does have a voice feature we'll test it quickly but I want to cover the horn with the pillow and I have the right tool for it fire fire warning carbon monoxide also forgot to mention that this is actually a dual com a combo Combo smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. It's ionization, by the way. This one's photoelectric. <sighs> okay, I don't need that for the rest of the video. Here is a uh, very cheap smoke alarm. It is the Kitty I9040. And I also have the E because it's on its little mounting bracket. The spoilers. Here's the system since L and there's a BT12. Anyways, we'll go ahead and test it. Cool. Now we uh, we have now this right here is a need alarm. It's a carbon monoxide alarm. This is a um, Kitty KN dash CLB dash LP two smoke alarm, and it doesn't have a voice feature, but it does test nicely. See the little green LED flashes, there you go. And last but not least, this is the smoke alarm that's actually all over my house. Except that one's XTRBI, I can't test it now. There's an integrity, 70 SPL. And, oh. and we'll go ahead and test it. Cover up the horn. Oh, and this one also has a voice feature as well, just like the Nighthawk. Warning, carbon monoxide. This one's also combo as well, smoke and carbon monoxide. See the little green LED flashes? It's cool. So, that's basically my smoke alarm collection. I'll show you my elevator collection. Here is a PTL elevator call button. I mean, car, car operating panel. This is not a call button. This one is. This one's. This one lights up. I just don't have it on right now. So you can see the battery in there. Some kind of reason it's falling off. I have to fix that. The this is like older PTL. I'm guessing. Oh, there you go. Let's see. PT. That's a PTL. 
call, uh, car operating panel. Here's a Firelight BG12. System sensor P2RL. Up here, actually we'll go over here first. This is a Empire State Building elevator call button. Otis Fandle resistant touch fixtures. Very rare. Never seen it before. There's the Empire State Building. See, it came right from the Empire State Building. Not joking, guys. Now we'll go over here. We have an Otis elevator call button. Cool. This also lights up, too. I just don't have it. Don't have the battery plugged in yet. Alright, now we're going on to more of the commercial fire alarm stuff. So this right here is an emergency, it's a um, STI emergency push stopper, whatever it's called. It's a push station, stop button, whatever it's called. And this one actually has a turn to reset feature instead of key lock. See, it just pops right out. See when you push it, like, sticks in. This is an Edward Siga pull station, I believe that's what it is. It's not Kida, it's Edwards. This one's made by Edwards. It's already pulled, I left them pulled for some kind of reason. Here is, right over here, is a FCI MS2 with the bolded letters. Because the ones at my school have the um, non-bolded letters. So I could show you a picture in a future video. Here's a Simplex T-Bar. I'm not sure of the model number. Here's a Spectral Alert, System Sensor Spectral Alert Classic S122 Farm C. There's a Wheelock AS, Horn Strobe. That one's a remote strobe. Here is an Edwards Genesis one strobe. Here is a Spectral Alert, uh, System Sensor Spectral Alert Advanced SR remote strobe, I believe. And this one is a Spectral Alert Advanced P2R horn strobe. Here's a Spectral Alert Classic horn strobe. I believe the model number is P241575. On my demo board, I already showed you these, the Firelight BG-12, and the System Sensor P2RL, also known as the L-Series. Over here, we got a Edwards 270 SPL. Cool. And this is right here is an Edwards Integrity Fire Alarm 7-3A-T horn strobe. There's that case from Gorm. There's another I-9040 right there, taped on the ceiling, by the way. Here's the smoke alarm brackets, and I'm going to have to end it here, but I'll, I'll put all the smoke alarm back for you. Carbon monoxide alarm, slides on like that. Kitty, right here. In my closet, by the way, is I also have an, an a Kitty Nighthawk. Uh, it's not working right now. It's a Kitty Nighthawk P1-9000. And my camera just lost the focus. Right there is my ferret's house, which I'll be fixing up. And uh, that be the ferret's channel, which is going to be my ferret's channel, which you guys maybe know. If you guys are, if you guys have subscribed to my original channel named The World of James, you guys should know this. But if you guys are new here, then you guys will probably not know. But in the channels, I will feature those. Anyways, there's that one going back. It's also on the thing. Here's this one right next to me, photoelectric. And this one, I'm not going to put on the ceiling right now because I have to figure out a way to make it better for it to not fall off all the time. But anyways, zoom out. There's my iPad. And... I'll end it here. That's my hamster cage, by the way. Name's Lucy. I'm not sure. She's not awake right now for some kind of reason. She's usually always awake at this time. But anyways, I will be doing the system, the board test, and the wall test in a future video on this channel. So, hope you all enjoy this little video of my collection on the first video of this, this channel specifically. Yes, I have posted videos on my original channel, The World of James. But, this channel specifically, this is my first upload. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Subscribe to Photoelectric Elevators. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Request of what I should do next. And, I will see you guys in the next video.